guys, Victor here with a brand new video and since there's no event going on with the UFC this weekend, I'm going to change gears and talk about another MMA organization, one of the best MMA organizations in the world, right next to the UFC and Bellator and that's going to be the PFL. Now the stands for Professional Fighters League, the PFL used to be the World Series of Fighting, um, until they changed everything up in 2018, the World Series of Fighting was actually founded in 2012. Um, eight years ago, so it's this organization has been around for a while, and I believe that since they decided to change gears a little bit, uh, change the whole entire organization from top to bottom, that this will be the second best mixed martial arts organization in the near future after they fix a couple of things that is going on with the organization. But other than that, I just want to go over a little bit of what makes this organization so unique, what makes it so special, and what makes it so successful right now to the point where it might even challenge Bellator Feather and Emma 2 spot in the best mixed martial arts organizations in the world right next to the UFC, obviously. Now, the reason why this organization is uh, really interesting is because everything is in a uh, tournament-based platform. When I mean my tournament-based, I mean that each fighter has to go through um, a regular season and a postseason. During the regular season, each fighter has to fight two times. Their main objective is to finish within the top eight, which means that they have to rack up as many points as possible. Now, for a win, you get three points. For a draw, you get one point. And for a loss, you get zero points. Now, for finishes, if you get a first round finish, that's three points. Second round finish, that's two points. And a third round finish, that will be one point. So, for ex an example... If you had a first round knockout, you get three points for winning the fight and three additional points for also um, finishing the fight within the first round, which means you get six points right there. You decide to do that again within, uh, within your next fight, then you end up getting 12 points, meaning that you're automatically going to go on to the playoffs. Now, the first eight with the most points advance to the playoffs where they have a seeding of one to eight, which means that... First seed faces the eighth seed, second seed faces the eight, uh, the seventh seed, third seed faces the sixth seed, and fifth seed versus the fourth seed. And this is going to be in a quarterfinal, semifinal to the championship where the winner does receive their championship belt along with a prize of $1 million, which is why a lot of fighters around the world are flocking to the PFL trying to get a $1 million and try to uh, get that championship belt at the same time. Now, for the weight classes... There is a, it's a little bit of a weird situation that's going on just because uh, with the men's division, there's no bantamweights, there's no flyweights, and there's no middleweights. There's featherweights, lightweights, welterweights, light heavyweights, and heavyweights. Then for the women's divisions, you only have one, and that is the women's lightweight division, which is the only lightweight women's division in the world of mixed martial arts right now uh, before... Or until the UFC or Bellator decides, hey, we might as well do what the PFL is doing and get us a women's lightweight division just because uh, there's not that many women out there that really like to cut weight that much. A lot of big women out there um, that don't feel like they want to cut away down the uh, the band and weight. So I like what the PFL is doing right here with the women's lightweight division, which is um, really unique and really interesting. But it's definitely going to make them a lot of money in the long run. It's definitely going to give them a lot of success. In the long run as well. Now there are a couple of fighters um, on this PFL roster that used to fight either in Bellator or in the um, UFC. Rory McDonald just signed a contract who will be fighting in the PFL sport delay division in that tournament which is a pretty stacked division right now. I can't say I really know a lot of the fighters names just because I've seen a couple of fights in the PFL but I haven't had the grasp of actually learning these names yet just because I watch a lot more UFC than I do with the PFL, but that's most likely going to change just because the PFL are getting these high-quality guys. Uh, they have Olivier uh, Mercier, the, who trains with GSP over in TriStar uh, in Canada. Um, he had a rough stint with the UFC, so now he's with the PFL, trying to get that championship belt in that lightweight division and trying to you know, get the $1 million as well. They also have fighters such as uh, Lance Palmer on there with the featherweight division, who's a uh, really good mixed martial artist, definitely one of the best featherweights in the world, 
and one of the best wrestlers in the world um, at the same time as well. So they have some really good fighters uh, with the PFL. I just don't like how they're having these gaps with the uh, divisions. I don't like how there's only one women's division as well. Um, another thing that I kind of don't really like as well is that they have play-in tournaments that they uh, that go on in different countries. So there will be a play-in tournament in and there will be a playoff tournament in Brazil, the United Arab Emirates, and uh, Russia, where four fighters come, where they compete in the uh, tournament, a semifinal matchup, followed by a championship matchup. The semifinal matchup will be three three-minute rounds, nine minutes in total. And then if they advance to the championship round, that will be a three five-minute uh, five rounds, 15, which is a total of 24 minutes um, in total. Uh, two fights in one day, tournament style, how they used to have it back in uh, the UFC back in the day. The, uh, even Bellator has their own Grand Prixes. They're doing it for the featherweights right now. They uh, did it for the welterweights and the heavyweights as well, which was a pretty good success on the company's part. But I do like this tournament uh, format that the uh, PFL has going on. And also for that play-in tournaments, if you do win those both fights, you have an automatic bid for the PFL's um, upcoming tournament. Now, the, sadly, their tournament had to be canceled this year just because of the wake of the coronavirus uh, pandemic, but they will be back and stronger than ever. Um, another thing I like about the PFL is that they have a contract with ESPN, the leader in sports networks, and uh, they're right next to the UFC, who is the other company that does have ESPN as their um, main provider as well. This is a really good part on the PFL. You can be able to see a lot of the fights on ESPN Plus if you have an ESPN Plus subscription. Uh, I did watch a couple of the fights on there because I do have a subscription of my own. And I watched their uh, their championship tournament that they had uh, this past year. And in 2019, it was really good. They had some pretty good fights on there. Like I said, I wish they had more uh, weight classes, but... Um, at the end of the day, it is what it is. They want to be unique. They want to stand out. They want to be different from all the other organizations out there. And um, I do like the commentary that they have with the PFL. It's Sean O'Connell, who is the uh, former light heavyweight with the UFC, and the legendary Randy Couture, the former UFC uh, light heavyweight or, I believe, a heavyweight championship. Actually, a light, heavy, light heavyweight champion uh, with the UFC. And those guys do an amazing job. Um, with calling the fights, and they have a, such a high octagon IQ, it's insane. And I do love the commentary that both those both those men uh, have. Sean O'Connell actually came over from the UFC to the PFL and won um, the lightweight, uh, the light heavyweight championship tournament, and he ended up winning a million dollars. And now he's working with the PFL alongside a UFC and MMA legend such as Randy Couture, which is awesome. Also, uh, they have. Um, they, they basically track a lot of statistics that are going on within the octagon. I believe they call it the uh, the smart octagon or the smart cage where they just um, they they record everything that's going on. Punches thrown, kicks thrown, uh, damage that's taken, um, octagon control, uh, all, the, all those different things. And even the referees wear these glasses that have a camera hooked up. So you can see what the, you can literally see what the referee is seeing. Um, during the fight, which is awesome. Um, I don't know what they uh, call them, um, smart glasses or something like that, but the, the the PFL referees are the only ones that use them in the whole entire sport of mixed martial arts. The only um, negative with that is that um, the the quality of um, like the vision on there um, of the of the uh, of the video it's not really so clear. So if they can be able to. Um, definitely up it up with the whole resolution and make it a lot, uh, a lot more, a lot more clear for the fans to actually see. Then that's definitely an A plus on their part. But uh, other than that, this is I just want to talk about this whole entire to tournament platform that the PFO has, and I do believe after they do work out a couple of things, they will be considered the second best mixed martial arts organization uh, in the world, and they will kick out Bellator for that spot. Uh, Bellator is still considered the second best in the world, and they do a lot of right things, but I just feel like uh, the PFL are doing a lot of right things right now in, uh, in order to push out their competitors. But um, just let me know anything in the comment section below, what you guys think about uh, the PFL, some of the fighters they have, and the whole format 
with the tournaments and how they run their organizations um, in total. So definitely uh, leave a comment below. You know, like, subscribe. I even put on the notification button if you guys want to see uh, more videos that I throw out there. And I definitely will put on more videos as uh, more fights come along. I appreciate you guys for watching. Stay safe. Stay blessed.